Good morning. So I am at my, this is Nico. This is very needy. I am at my house right now waiting for Alicia to come pick me up. Um, we are going to go, Nico is hitting my phone. We are going to go thrifting today. Um, buddy. We're going to go thrifting today. Um, both of us are redoing our offices. I worked on mine yesterday and I got it pretty close to I think where I want it to be. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. I took some before videos but I took them for TikTok so they're in like the up and down like I filmed them up and down not sideways so I might throw them in I might not. Um, but basically, um, I'm converting my office back to Disney. Um, so yeah, I pulled out all my Disney stuff. I've gotten quite a few new bags off of like eBay and stuff. So I wanted them to be out and hung and seen. So, um, when Kevin and I, Kevin and I just got back from a vacation, like a family vacation that we took with my dad's side of the family and we went to a bunch of antique stores. We went to, I say it wrong every time. We went to Atlanta first, Kevin and I did. And then we met up with my family in LJ, Georgia. I wanna say LIJ, but that's definitely not it. Uh, my family made fun of me for saying it like that. But basically um, I got a few things I can show you guys. So I got that Jiminy Cricket that's up there. He's from the 60s. I thought that was really cool. I got Thumper and Bambi and Flower. Oh my God, is that? I got Timothy Mouse up there. And then the other day, oh, I also got this little Pooh Bear. He's got magnetic hands, but he's old and his magnetic hands don't actually like work through clothes. So I have a little pin. I'm going to use him for Alicia's birthday that um, we're going to go to Animal Kingdom. And I thought he was really cute because he's in his safari outfit. But um, Alicia and I went to a place Tuesday and I got this vinyl. And I just thought it was fitting for my life, basically. So um, I got him or that. And then this is just all of my other stuff that I've collected. I think what I'm looking for today when we go out is I want to get like a four foot bulletin board to go up here. I have a vinyl, a record player on the way. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I'm going to move these and then I'm going to put the bulletin board up here because then I'm going to move. I'm working on my pin collection. So these are the ones that I have now. I've got pins that I've, that I'm trading when we go to the parks. Um, but I want to put them up here. And then last night I went through, last night I went through my um, phone, Lightroom, Facebook, Instagram, and I pulled all of the photos that I want to get printed out like at CVS from our trip, like memories and stuff, cute, cute photos. And I'm going to put them up on that bulletin board too. So I'm looking for a bulletin board today. I'm looking for Disney stuff today. And I'm looking possibly for a rug. So I had like a white rug here. And honestly, I won't be mad if I don't find a rug because I kind of like it without no rug. But I don't know. I think a rug here would look nice. But um, I had a white rug there. It was just getting old and dirty. So I threw it away. Um, but yeah, this is my office the little things that don't have stuff on them is because I put them on the wall yesterday and I know you're supposed to let them sit before you hang stuff on them so they don't fly off because for some reason those flew off a while ago and I just never replaced them but this is my little bag collection and then I've got like my lounge flies and some smaller bags over there um I just got this bag off Amazon and I'm working on putting pins on it because I don't actually have a bag for Animal Kingdom and I just thought it would be cute with a bunch of like safari pins and like stuff like that. So that's what I'm working on. My pins that I'm trading are already in that bag because um, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to Disney for Alicia's birthday and we're going to be staying at, well, 
Okay. Alicia and I are trying to stay at all of the Disney resorts because that's just like goal. Um, basically, I had heard from this other girl that I work with that um, there's this place called David's DVC Rentals. And I was kind of skeptical about it at first because it's like people who own DVC or rent DVC points can't use them and they're going to expire. So then they list their DVC room for sale or for rent and then you rent the points from that person and then you get to stay in that room for a discounted price basically. I didn't think it was like that discounted of a price but we got... We got the information sent to us yesterday and um, the room that we're supposed to be staying in is like $536 a night and David got it down to $304 a night. So hopefully we'll be staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge and the Villas. Ah, he just bit me. Ah! <laughs> Why? Is it because I'm not giving attention to you? Um, so we're going to be staying in those. So you guys will get to see that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I always get Animal Kingdom Lodge and Wilderness Lodge mixed up because they're so similar to me, even though they're not. So that's our plan for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. We're going to vlog that, of course. And then, or is it? Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. So Tuesday we're going to Animal Kingdom and then Wednesday we will be thrifting down in Orlando. So that's gonna be excited, exciting because um, I found a lot of Disney stuff. If you wanna see all the, the Disney stuff that I found, I made TikToks at every um, store that I found Disney stuff at when we were on vacation in Georgia. And I was so surprised of how much stuff I found in Georgia of vintage Disney. Um, so I'm assuming Orlando is just gonna be overflowing. Um, so yeah, oh my goodness, buddy, I gotta give him attention. Um, Alicia should be here in about 30 minutes and then I will update you guys with her. We've made it to the first place. It was very far away from us, but hopefully it'll be, uh, Hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh, those are adorable. Two hundred dollars. So far, I found. So far, I found this. And all of the all of the other things in here are five dollars. So I'm wondering if this is also five dollars. But there was no tag yeah, on it. So Mickey and Minnie set back there's only 15. Well, yeah, because it's like a random toy. I really want I love Thunder. the white rabbit. They're Christmas ornaments, don't they be <gasps> figurines? Oh. You want two hundred dollars for a fucking Christmas ornament? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I thought they were like collectible, like not Jim Shore, but like, you know, something like Jim Shore. Do I need this? <laughs> I don't know. There's no price on it. So what if I brought the other one up with me? Yeah, and just be like, it came from this booth because it has a booth number on it. Yeah. Okay. So far, we haven't found the official Disney booth. We've just found booths with Disney in it. Which is yeah. The prices are a little high. There was a really cool phone, like a Mickey phone, but he was, how much, 45? But I guess that's, Who? the Mickey phone was 45? Yeah, 48. That's, oh, that's kind of like average from what I've been seeing.
So I stepped into like this room for a minute because there's a lady who's putting stuff away in a booth across from ours, the one we're looking at. I don't know if like the Disney booth is hers or not, so I didn't want to say anything in front of her, but she's trying to sell a pair of ears that still have the tags on them that are $29.99 for $35. So, and they're not even like exclusive ears. Well, I guess they kind of are. It's the NBA experience, but it's not around anymore and it wasn't popular. Okay, this is kind of sad. So the booths, like the booths that aren't hers have better Disney items in them than her booth. Like. Alicia got a Mary Poppins vinyl for $5, but that was our only thing I would not suggest driving out here. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. I unless mean, this was worth it. Unless it maybe you like live right here and you want to stop by and check it out. But like, if you're from like south side of Jacksonville, hard pass. Show me, show me your fine. So I got these in the men's section. Um, this is a pass holder from 2018. It's Flower and Garden. Okay. I love that one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it or not. It goes all the way down the back, and you know I like I wear my skirts and stuff higher than that, so it won't really show. Yeah, I forgot you don't wear like jeans to the park. Right. No, because it's hot. Lame. Um, but I think I'm definitely gonna get this one. It's like a surf with Mickey. This is. Mickey Mouse and feel how soft it is. How much is the that one is soft? How much is that one? Um eight dollars. Jeez. Eight dollars thirty percent off. So I think I'm gonna get this one. It's only four bucks. Cute find, but it a little is. pricey and if yeah. It, if it had like if it stopped there. Yeah, I would probably get it. But yeah. we, we have a cart full. So that place was definitely a place that we would like go back to. We were kind of unsure at first because it was in a little bit of like a sketchier side of town. Um, but yeah, it wasn't bad at all. So now we're headed to the Goodwill bins. We haven't been there. I haven't been there. I haven't been in years. To this one. Years? I don't, I've definitely been in, within like the last year I've been. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. So we're gonna go check them out. And then I think after that, we're going to the Avenue Mall to look at boxed lunch, which I'm excited about that too. More like taking a gander. There is one pin that I do want to look for, possibly, but I'm excited. So far, it's been pretty good. I spent $55 and Alicia's was like 40 something, but we'll have to do like a haul when we get home tonight. So we had high hopes for the bins. Um, I don't know what happened, but it's not how it used to be. It was giving me very much Orange Park bin vibes. Bin vibes. Um, very like picked over, nothing in the bins. They were like about to bring out new ones, but we weren't gonna wait around for that. They're very like weird when they bring out bins. Like you have to go stand against the wall and like, I don't know, they're kind of mean. 
they bully you. Um, but Alicia found some stuff. She spent three bucks. I got, I didn't find anything. I found a couch that I wanted and then they were like, oh, it's sold. And I'm like, put a sold sticker on it because I wasn't the only one who was in there looking at it. Some other lady was trying to look at it too. It was a $4,000 couch that they wanted like $110 for. It was beautiful. I filmed it. Anyhow, we're at the fourth place now. Okay. <laughs> I was telling them. Oh. So we just got Chick-fil-A. Um, it was like easy to get in between our shopping adventures. So now we're at a Goodwill, like a regular Goodwill, not a Goodwill bins. So I'm hoping that we can find some good stuff here. Um, it's quite busy, but it looks like it might be an okay-ish size. I did not realize I was in the bins. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> rude. Warn a girl. You should always expect to be in it when the vlog is happening. I haven't been active. in any of the other car parts. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're gonna go in, see what we can find. I'm definitely glad that I bought all of this stuff at the second place we went to, um, because I was like a little hesitant in the beginning because I was like, what if we find a bunch of stuff at the bins? But I literally found nothing there. So now I'm happy I bought all that stuff, so. Well. Again, I found nothing, but Alicia found like a little tiny Winnie the Pooh baby blanket that's super soft and cute, and she got it for a dollar. So, super fancy. She's buying me fishies. So, that specific Goodwill, not a great one. Even though it was like pretty highly rated on Google, which is why we went to it. Um, we've just been trying to go to like some different ones that we don't normally go to, see if they're like any better on the other side of town. Um, so we're in what's considered like Fruit Cove right now. Um, we have one more Goodwill to hit up and then we're going to go to the Avenues Mall to look at boxed lunch. And then depending on the time, there's like a eighth thrift store we could go to if we wanted to. But I don't know if I'll make it to it. So. Good day. This Goodwill has a sliding door and I think it's very bougie. Alicia found a book. I feel like you've found something everywhere we've gone, you've at least gotten one thing. It's a good the blanket. I mean, yes, I found the blanket, but in my mind, I said the blanket would be good to use if the pattern was smaller for ears. I didn't think about like, just good to have which I probably should look more at like Disney baby blankets because I like putting blankets on the back of my desk chair because the cats lay across the back of my desk chair and then I can just like wash them every so often. And right now I have the turning red blanket up there, but that's the only like Disney one I have. And I just got it. Um, Avenue Small next. Oh, these must be 12, maybe 14. Okay, they're all different prices. They have Tigger. I need him. Gabby is quite literally a child I and has a pizza. <laughs> huh? Kid in a candy How store. Except she's a kid in a squishmallow store. I think this is Disney. Right. I think this is the specialty store that Jay was talking about. Does Clifford come here to get Jay's? Aw, I was wondering where he bought them from. I love 
up the tangled cardigan. Also, they have this. Easter Bunny is riding the train in the mall. Is it ran by the same people? Got him. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh, I'm getting wet. We're leaving the Avenues Mall now. And we're headed over to Five Below because I got the Mike Wazowski Squishmallow, but I know that Five Below has little tinier Squishmallows that are Disney related for $5.55. So we're gonna go check and see if our Five Below has any um, because that Squishmallow store that we went to, <sighs> they were overpriced by like, if you found them at Target or CVS, but they were underpriced when it came to buying them off Amazon. So it's like a middleman, like a middle ground. Um, so anyhow, but I've never seen the Mike Wazowski. So I went ahead and got him. I know Five Below definitely doesn't have him, but I'm out of breath. My bag is just so heavy. Even though I took my iPad out, still killing the bag. <laughs> it's now raining but I was smart and I knew it was gonna rain today, so I brought my raincoat. We found Squishmallows. Now we're, so I didn't realize that there was a Five Below over here by where we were. So now we're gonna go to the other Five Below we were originally gonna go to to see if they have any more Disney Squishmallows because the ones we found were very cute and they're $5.95. She's gonna, I'm gonna let her film hers at her house. And then I, depending on if it's raining or not, when I get to her house, I might film mine at her house too. I'm just unsure right now. Um, I don't know if I wanna tote all my stuff in or not, so. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so used to you talking. Hello. I believe she's gonna do her part of her haul first. I brought my stuff in. So. Okay, so don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll start off by the first thing that I got today, which was this Mary Poppins vinyl. Um, it also has like a storybook in the front of it and the vinyl that comes with it kind of like goes along with when you tell the story. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is only $5. Probably was, the best deal of the day. Yeah, it was. And wow. that was at the like antique mall. Yeah, the first place we went to. I found this Eeyore. He also smells kind of clean. I found this Eeyore, new with tags still, um, for three dollars two ninety eight. Does tags say how much he was originally? No. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But he's so cute. 
fluffy and clean. Yeah, the thrift store that we're showing all of our stuff from right now, everything smelled like it had been washed. This, I also got this little guy from the same thrift store. Super cute for $3.98. Just originally from the Disney store, right? Um, Book tag. Disney's Babies, Disneyland, and Walt Disney World. So. Then I got this little bag of toys. It was originally $1.98, but all the yellow tags were 30% off. So I think it was like $1.40 or something. But I mainly got it because it has the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland, as well as Gus Gus from Cinderella. And it's not Cogsworth. Oh yeah, and Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast. So a little one from every movie. Yeah, right. From Box Lunch. Oh, look, it's open my pen. Oh, exciting. I hope you got the cat. <laughs> so they had um these cocoa pins on clearance or the price tag says seven dollars but it was an additional 50 percent off so i bought two just half for trading purposes because we're going to try trading pins when we go next week and then i got this which is a little mystery lounge fly blind box pins and it's showing that they're all pinocchio um gabby really wants the cat so we're gonna see so, so she didn't want to even if you don't get the cat, that's not when you can trade in the parks. That's fine. What's it feel like? It feels like a fucking cat. They're I, all clawed. I feel, I know, but I feel like there's a tail. They all have little tails. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. The little pendulum things. It's the cat. I almost bought that one. Cute. Oh, we're turning a little bit. Oops. We have you on a gimbal that doesn't like to work properly. Um, so then, oh yeah. Damn. <laughs> so from Goodwill, um, one of the Goodwills we went to, I found this super cute book. It was $2, Disney Pixar um, picture book collection. So it just has like, it has Monsters Inc, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Cars, a whole bunch of up. A whole bunch of stories in here, which I thought was super cute. So that's in very good condition, too. It's, yeah, it feels like brand, new. brand new. All right, moving on. Gabby found, I bought it, but Gabby found this adorable Winnie the Pooh blanket. If you can see the pattern. It also feels and looks brand new. Um, I don't know... It's a heavy blanket, but they charged me for like a crib sheet and it was a dollar. So. Right. And when I looked on the little like um, price chart, it was saying small blankets for $3.99. So. Um, so there used to be a Disney store in the mall that we went to and they turned it into this like toy store instead. And now they carry a whole bunch of Squishmallows. I've never been a Squishmallow person. Okay. I swore I'd never become a Squishmallow person. Well, here we are. Um, I saw Doug, and I'm obsessed with Doug. Um, I was going to get, ooh, excuse me, I was going to get Dumbo, but I have a whole bunch of Dumbo stuff already, and I just kind of want to broaden my horizons, so I got him. Plus, he was the cheapest. They kind of upcharged there he because- He was the cheapest in the store. He was. They kind of upcharged at that store just because, not by a lot. So, oh, you mentioned this earlier, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. It was um, more expensive than the stores, but cheaper than online. So I got him. And then after the avenues, we went to Five Below. Because I was like, I've seen Disney Squishmallows at Five Below before. So I walk up and Gabby's holding something behind her back. And she's like, you're going to be so excited that you got Doug. And I was like, why? And she pulls out Russ. He's so cute. Him and his little wilderness explorer. He's even wearing his, is he wearing his backpack on the back? He is. Oh my his gosh. Tuba. His backpack. Is that a tuba? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, it's a trumpet. Trumpet. I don't know my instruments. Um, so we have Russ and Doug. And then at that five below, Gabby found 
Carl. And I was salty because I now have Doug and Russ, but no Carl, right? Well, at that five below, I got Jack Jack. Um, because there they were had multiple him. Jack Jacks. There were, there were a ton of Jack Jacks. I'm not the biggest Incredibles fan, but I'm like, okay, well, if I'm gonna start my little collection, I might as well get him because they have them. So, we went to the second five below. I'm salty I didn't pick up a Jack Jack. In what? my mind, I was like, all five blows are going to have the same thing. So they'll probably have a bunch of Jack Jacks in the next one, too. So we went to the next five below. And um, I walk up and Gabby's like, I'm really mad that I didn't get a Jack Jack. Because they had Edna. I really love Edna. <laughs> she's super cute. Her and her little glasses. Look at her little duck face she's making. Super cute. So now I have Jack Jack and Edna. But then she found me my Carl. Look how cute he is. Look at his ears. He is so cute. So now I have Carl, Russ, and Doug. And I'm very happy about it. Almost a full collection. Almost I don't know if they make collection. it, Kevin. Um, I think stuff-wise, that's everything. Uh, that's stuff. Well, I know. I was going to show clothes, but I think, like, items. Oh, yeah. That's everything. So. Um, so then we, we went to a thrift store. Um, one of the thrift stores we went to. It's hard for me to find, like, plus-size clothing when I go thrifting. So I don't normally look, but they have their clothes sorted by size which was amazing so i found this super cute crop top that's just like kind of keyhole at the top um originally eight dollars but it was a blue tag and blue tags were 50 percent off so i got it for four bucks and then in the men's section i found this shirt a little oh, sorry little surfer mickey and on the back you surf it away and it's really soft so it feels like it would be super comfortable so that's everything i got everything that park wise anyways disney re disney related i got a couple other clothes i'm going on a trip to puerto rico now I, now I gotta grab all of mine okay hold on <laughs> all right so I feel like I got a good amount of clothes at the second place we went to. I didn't buy anything from the first antique store. I almost bought a phone, a Mickey phone. I don't think I actually went back and filmed it. I just went back and looked at it. Um, but it was, I thought it was rare because I had never seen it before. It was not rare. Um, they're all over online. But we went to the second place. I bought this black fabric um cut for $5.98 because we make ears and stuff and I didn't have a black fabric so I got that I got this pair of super like ribbed jeans and they're wild fable they were $7.98 but they were blue wasn't blue on sale half off blue was half off so I, I'm I love like super rich jeans so I got that those and then I got this pair which I was excited about too and they're YMI which I think is just like honestly I think it's Ross but they were cute too super distressed and then they're him to the bottom and they were like a little short on my ankles which made me excited because it's hard to find jeans that don't drag then I got, oh, I got this shirt. <laughs> Alicia found this shirt. And it says pew pew. What does it say? Motherfuckers. <laughs> so we're gonna eventually have Star Wars Day in the Park. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna wear that. I found this and I don't know when the heck I'm gonna be able to wear it because it's not very cold in Florida at all. Ever. But it's pretty lightweight, so maybe I could get away with it on like a, like a resort know. day or something. Yeah. But I thought it was cute and it's actually like made really well. It's not like the stuff that'll peel up and that was $7.98. Oh, I wasn't telling the price. It was like the motherfucker. He was a little expensive. Oh, $5.98. No, he wasn't. Why did I think he was more than that? Well, when I told you he was $5.98, you were like, oh, it's kind of pricey. <laughs> Then I, I got, before, you know. I got this Lularoe, um, shirt 
and I really did not look these over for stains or anything, but so far I haven't seen any, thank God. Um, this one was $3.98, and I just thought it was really cute. And then I got this LuLaRoe shirt, and this really one is still them. with new with tags, um, but it's, this one was $7.98, but it's got Cruella on it. So I'm going to try to wear these as dresses. I don't know if that'll, that'll work or not. I think it'll be too short. Mm, I don't know. But when we were at the antique mall, they the Disney booth that we originally went to the antique mall for, I they sucked. Um, the photos that she used online were not accurate as to what she had in her in her booth, so we were a little disappointed. Her prices were also pretty expensive. She had what? one of my fabrics is missing. The striped fabric. It's in that bag. Oh, I forgot it. I got two <laughs> bags from this place. Okay. Um, she also had some LuLaRue leggings. And I was like, oh, if they're cheap, even if they're not my size, I can buy them and use the fabric to make ears. But she wanted like $30, $40 for her LuLaRue leggings. So, so we did not get any. I also got this skirt, which is Wild Fable. I love Wild Fable. It was $3.98. I figured it might be, it might be cute for like a daisy outfit. I don't know. It's got daisies on it. It was new with tags. Um, originally $17. And then I got this fabric also, which is just like white and black stripes. I got really sad for a second. I thought she forgot to give it to me. Then we went to box lunch was my next place. The girl at box lunch was so sweet. She signed me up for the rewards and she was walking me through it and she was like, you get $5 off on your birthday. And I was like, damn. And she's like, what? 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 <laughs> and I was like, my birthday just passed. She was like, when was it? It was like February 10th. And she was like, oh, I'll just honor it because you would have to wait a whole nother year. So I got $5 off my purchase. So I got two pins. I got this pin that I've been eyeing. It's a lounge fly pin. It's like a charcuterie board, but it's all Mickey shaped foods. Love that. And then I got this pin, which is a turning red Pixar pin. Really hard for you guys to see. There you go. Then, got Squishmallow store. I bought the Mike Wazowski, which you guys saw. He was, he was, a little expensive, but I've never seen him. And when I Googled it on Amazon, he was selling for like $40 for this size. So I don't know if he's rare, but okay. I also was like, oh, I need to buy him now because there's only one, right? So I bought him and then Alicia was like, if I don't find anything at box lunch, we'll go back and I'll like look and see if I want to get one from there, from the Squishmallow store. So we go back to the Squishmallow store and there's another Mike Wazowski. So I think it's a fucking ploy to get you to buy it because you think it's the last one and then she puts another one out. Like she has a back stock of them. So that store, my uh, our friend Jay, she's uh, like obsessed with Squishmallows too. And she goes there whenever she's looking for like a rarer Squishmallow because that girl has such a large inventory of them. It's wild. She's a lot. So then I also got a Russell and a coral. And then I also got, oh, I got the turning red plush from Five Below. This was the second Five Below we went to. I'm really obsessed with turning red. I really love it. So I was happy to find him, especially for $5 because all the turning red mer merch at Disney is pretty dang expensive. Um, so right now like bucket hats are trending and she's been eyeing the I've been looking at the Disney bucket hats, but I just can't, I can't talk myself into buying like a $46 bucket hat because I feel like they don't look that great on me. I don't know. So anyhow, I found one at five below. She's very thin, but breathable. Um, I've got some patches from the character warehouse that are like fantasy land patches. And I think they would be cute on here. So I think I'm gonna make my own Disney bucket hat. Um, so that's my plan with this. Gabby is also notorious for getting sunburn on her scalp. Yeah, because I wear my hair like this a lot and then I go out all day in the parks and then my scalp gets sunburned. 
And then I also got an Edna. So that's everything that I got. Wow. I think. Yeah. It doesn't seem like as much when you bring it all in, does it? It felt like a lot when I was carrying it in, but yeah. now that I went through it, it doesn't seem like that much. Interesting. But yeah. I hope we you got guys, a bunch of stuff, so. Hope you all enjoyed our haul and coming along with us today. Um, are you gonna make ears tonight? Probably not tonight. I don't think I am either. I brought my hat, but just want to chill. So there's this bucket hat at Disney, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it might be a kid's bucket hat. I'm not sure. I need to look into it, but it's at Animal Kingdom and it has the Mickey ears on it, and it says something about like adventure. And I think I might buy it instead of making my hard hat for the trip. I'm not sure yet. It depends on my time this weekend. This next trip flew up. Flew up on us. Yeah, because we only had like three weeks in between. It felt like one week. This next, we, we go next week for two days, which is the beginning of April. And then we don't go again until May 31st. So that one's going to feel like a long time in between. But I feel like we may, depending on like how busy we are between the times, we may go down there and do like a thrift day in between or something, depending on how many thrift stores we go to the second day we're down there, because that's what our plan is. We have a park day for the first day that we're going down. And then the second day we are planning on thrifting. Um, so depending on how many we get through and if we really find like good thrift stores, then we may like look up more and go down there in between the, the two times that we're and then that's our last time to go before we get blocked out for the summer but we're hoping to go to the water park this yes. summer um and as well as just kind of like go and stay in some disney resorts and like enjoy the pools since we can't get into the we like to stay at the resorts yes it's like it's great and we feel bougie and we do explore them a little bit but It'll be really nice to go and stay in a resort and just like experience the resort. I feel like the only time we did that is when we stayed at the Yacht, Yacht Club, Club. Mm -hmm. and like idiots, we did not film anything. Yeah. That was our bougiest Disney stay that we've ever done. Yeah. And we didn't film any of it because it was the middle of COVID. We went well in the middle of COVID. It was September of 2020. So it was like right when things were starting to reopen again. Yeah. And we had originally booked Disneyland Paris for that October. And with the deposit money that we got back from that oh, trip. I forgot that's how we did it. With Yeah. So oh. with the deposit money we got back from that trip, we put it towards a stay at that hotel. And we stayed that. for three nights, which is the longest we've ever stayed um, together. Well, no, that's a lie. The first, our first trip was the longest we've ever stayed together. Our first ever trip when we camped. Was it like four or five days? Yeah. It was like four nights, I think. We vlogged that. We did. It's on this channel now. Um, and so we were really discouraged because we had just started our Instagram and then COVID hit. We were gaining followers, gaining followers like crazy. We gained like 1,500 followers in like less than a month or something crazy like that. And then COVID hit and we were like, well, we can't go to the parks. And we got really discouraged and upset. And we were like, well, screw this. Like, we just didn't post anything like idiots. Um, and then we were like, well, we're not doing our Disney Instagram anymore. It's so, like, we don't need to film or get content or whatever. Um, like idiots. And now here we are. <laughs> we missed it a lot. And it's been really fun to get back into it. But anyway, now we just have to go back. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> but now we're using that David's DVC rental guy. Yeah. And Same I'll be curious somewhere. if we, um, if we list that maybe as like our second option one time just to get like a price quote. It wasn't even in, in any of the options for us to choose this time around. So I don't know if it's just because it's not. Wait, does Yacht Club have DVC? I don't know. It may not. I thought every hotel had DVC, but it may not. I'm gonna have to Google that. All right, well, um, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. I know like this last couple things that we just filmed here, yours was like eight or nine minutes and this is going on 13, so. Um, Did it take me nine minutes? Mm-hmm. Sorry. So 
um yeah see you guys bright and early tuesday morning well tuesday morning for us like thursday or friday for y'all wait tuesday is like four days away oh my god that's why i was like it's fine i mean i knew in my head it's next week but in my head i still have a whole week <laughs> jesus Christ. i got a pack same thankfully i kind of know which what outfit at least i'm wearing to the park i need to find a shirt for my outfit what pants are you wearing i'm wearing my oh yeah yeah, yeah that's right skirt. okay <laughs> bye